It's a fight to the end. Which rocket sidearm will be the winner in this legendary battle? Welcome to Versus Battle, a series where similar weapons pit against each other to find out which one is the best. There are seven categories that the weapons battle in, one of them being a community vote chosen by you. Weapons gain points from each round depending on their placement, and whichever weapon has the most points at the end of the video wins. In today's episode, Legendary Rocket Sidearms. It's the first solar rocket sidearm of barren action versus the first ever rocket sidearm Indebted Kindness versus the only strand rocket sidearm, The Call. Let's get started. The first category is Acquisition. How easy is it to get a desirable role? Indebted Kindness comes in last place for this category, as it is not craftable, comes from a dungeon, and can take hours upon hours to get the right role. Now between the call and the barren action, I think first place goes to the call. Not only is it one of the first weapons you get in the Final Shape campaign, but you can get deep sight versions from Mica, the Ghost, Overthrow, and a bunch of other Pale Heart activities. A barren action is also relatively easy to get, but it can take a while to unlock focusing for it, and there are just less ways to get it compared to the call. The call is first in this category, snagging three points overall. A Baron is second, getting two points, and Indebted Kindness is third, getting just one point. On to the second category, Raw Strength. How good does the weapon perform strictly based on perks? not accounting for build synergy. Let me begin this round by saying we don't take into account artifact mods, as those don't stay forever. To get started, first we have to know what perks all these weapons have. Thank you to D2 Foundry for these graphics. Let's lay out the constants. It's nice to have a good mix of velocity, reload, and blast radius on these rocket sidearms. For the barrels and magazines, I recommend Linear Compensator for that bump to velocity and blast radius, and Tactical Mag for some reload speed. If you find that you don't need the reload speed from Tac Mag, then I would go High Explosive Ordnance for some blast radius. Then, make sure to always run Backup Mag on your weapon. Let's get into the more important perks, where I think the call comes in third. Now, the call does does have many great perks to choose from. This sidearm can pair amazing perks like Lead from Gold, Beacon Rounds, and Demolitionist with a wide variety of damage perks like One for All and Golden Tricorn, potentially making it the best for single target damage. I think where this sidearm falls short in comparison to the others are the unique strand perks on this gun, Slice and Hatchling. I've never been a big fan of these perks, and I think if you compare Hatchling specifically to the unique elemental damage perks on the other weapons, Incandescent and Volt Shot, it doesn't even come close. The other sidearms just have much better ad clear with those perks without needing to build into it. And while the Origin Trait is good on the call, probably better than the one for Indebted Kindness, it isn't enough to take it out of the third spot. Probably one of the more controversial decisions in this video, I put Indebted Kindness in the first place in this category. Here's why. Lead from Gold plus Volt Shot is just too good. Despite Aberrant Action having amazing perk combos like Pugilist or Heal Clip with Incandescent, and even having a better Origin trait than Indebted Kindness, I just think that without any subclass synergy, Indebted will be better. You find it hard to run out of ammo for Indebted while you have Lead from Gold, which is a problem I sometimes run into with Aberrant. Yes, you can heal on demand with Heal Clip, but in a lot of content, I feel like you don't really need this, whereas I think Lead from Gold is more useful all around. Also, you're able to heal in other ways outside of Heal Clip, which brings the raw strength down for me with Aberrant, and I don't think any of the other third column perks on Aberrant compete with Lead from Gold. I also think that in this instance, Volt Shot would just be straight out better than Incandescent, but that can be up for debate. Finally, while the origin trait on a Baron is good, it honestly seems like overkill in most content, to the point where I would prefer the origin trait of Indebted for that quicker reload. So with that, I think it's enough reason for Indebted to be in first place in raw strength. For a full breakdown of a Baron action and its perks, I recommend watching Castle Content's video on the weapon. For raw strength, this leaves Indebted Kindness in first place, gaining three points, a Baron gaining two points, and the Call gaining one. For the third category, we're looking at subclass synergy. How good can this weapon get from building into it with your subclass and exotics? A Baron action is on top in this category, undeniably. This is where I think a combo like Heal Clip plus Incandescent can make this weapon better than all the others. This weapon synergizes so well with many parts of the Solar subclass. You can extend both Radiant and Restoration with Ember of Empyrean. The Scorches and eventual Ignitions that come from running Incandescent pair with many fragments, such as Ember of Singeing, Ember of Char, and Ember of Ashes. An exotic like Dawn Chorus on Warlock also goes really well with this weapon and roll. Second place goes to The Call. 
While it was last place in raw strength, it does improve when it comes to subclass synergy. The Threadlings from Hatchling and the Sever effect from Slice can benefit from fragments like Thread of Evolution and Thread of Continuity. Since it's a strand weapon, it can gain unraveling rounds from Thread of Propagation, and it can make more Threadlings thanks to Thread of Rebirth and it's also able to make tangles on the strand subclass. Hatchling also pairs really nicely with Swarmers on the Warlock. While it doesn't compare to the synergy of a Baron, it's still really good in this category. Coming in 3 is Indebted, and that's because there aren't as many benefits you get when trying to build this thing into your subclass. On an Arc subclass, you can pair this with Spark of Ions, where Jolting targets can make Ionic Traces. You'll also be able to benefit from Spark of Beacons, since this thing is Arc. You'll also benefit from using aspects like Flow State on Hunter and Electrostatic static mind on warlock but that's really it it's not bad but i think it has the worst subclass synergy out of the three this category ends off with a barren action getting three points the call getting two and indebted kindness getting one the fourth category is end game viability how well does this thing hold up in harder content now this does include using the weapon with subclass synergy, so basically at its max performance. With the nature of these things being rocket sidearms, they're of course all really good in endgame content, but which one is the best? I'm gonna have to say the call is in third place here. Yes, this thing can get lead from gold, and yes, it has great damage perks, but Indebted Kindness can also get lead from gold, while also being able to get Volt Shot, and I honestly prefer Volt Shot more than any of those damage perks on the call. I find it much more useful to be able to clear a group of enemies with my special than do slightly more damage, because if I wanted to damage a beefier target, especially in harder content, I would likely just switch to my heavy. So this puts the call in third, and it also puts Indebted in second, which makes Aberrant first place in this category. I think the healing is a lot more helpful in harder content, and I personally think it's more useful in endgame content compared to lead from gold. That plus scorching and potentially causing ignitions with incandescent is just too good. I think the ad clear from incandescent with ember of ashes is better than that of volt shot. On top of this, you have the origin trait on Aberrant, creating those Radiolaria pools, which I find to be more useful in harder content than Sundering, just for that extra damage on all the stronger enemies that you're gonna find. With everything juiced out on a solar subclass, I think Aberrant action performs better in endgame content than Indebted Kindness. This round ends off with Aberrant getting 3 points, Indebted grabbing 2, and the call getting 1 point. The fifth category is utility. This looks at the special ways this weapon can help you in gameplay. For example, a great utility from a Baron action is the ability to heal from heal clip. It can also technically deal with unstoppables through ignitions from incandescent. Though for me, Aberrant goes in the number 3 spot. Number 1 would actually be The Call, finally getting another first place spot. The reason The Call wins here is because of two things. First of all, it's the only rocket sidearm in your kinetic slot, which opens up a whole lot of possible weapon combinations with stuff like Sunshot, Red Death, or even Ergo Sum. Secondly, it is Strand, so it's the only rocket sidearm that can natively help build your Darkness Transcendence meter on Prismatic. This means that Indebted Kindness is second for utility. Reason 1, it can deal with overloads pretty easily thanks to Volt Shot. Secondly, Lead from Gold is great for ammo, and it lets me run double special without much worry. That means the call gets 3 points, Indebted gets 2, and Aberrant gets 1. It's a close match, and still anyone's game. Onto the 6th round, this is Aesthetic. Which weapon has the best appearance? I don't think there is any competition here. A Baron action is the coolest. From the wings that come out when you aim, to the glowing Radio Larry on the weapon, to the look that seems born straight from the Vex Mythoclast, this thing is definitely the coolest looking weapon. Second place was a tough decision, but it goes to Indebted Kindness. While I like what Bungie was going for with the iconic characters on Pale Heart weapons, I just love this technological and sleek aesthetic of Indebted Kindness. So a Baron gets 3 points, Indebted gets 2, and the Call gets 1. Time for the final category, the community vote. Which rocket sidearm is your favorite? The top vote gets an extra three points. My recent community poll got over 3,000 votes, and you guys decided that the call was your third favorite. Your second favorite was a barren action, meaning Indebted Kindness actually wins the community vote and gets three extra points. And the results are in. If we take a look at just the performance-based categories, the call has seven points, Indebted Kindness has 8 points, and a Baron Action finishes with 9 points. All of these weapons are good in their own right, but a Baron wins in performance. What really matters though to me is the overall score. Including all categories, the call finishes up in last place with 11 points. Surprisingly, while we had a sole winner in performance, 
we actually have a tie for first place in the overall score. Both Indebted Kindness and a Baron Action end with 14 points, meaning the first ever legendary battle has no true winner. And cut. Ah, uh, Aberrant, what should we do now? I say go get drink. A drink is fine with me. Wait, do you hear that? I don't just hear it, I feel it. Uh, what I miss?